tutorial we will see some footage that was shot at 180 frames per second 1080p on the GH5. We will see that high frame rate and artificial lighting is a flicker festival. We will also see how deflicker by Revision FX can help us to get rid of the flicker. Let's go ahead and see how this is done. First, we'll see the edit we'll be working with. We will take this edit and bring it into Premiere. Of course, it's always better if we have the original footage, but we can still do a good job. Deflicker has some extra features to help us get great results, even with an edit that has multiple cuts. We apply Deflicker high speed. The first shot is fine, so we don't have to do anything there. Next, we need to find the first frame of the next shot. We back up a frame and we set max change to 0%. We also set a mark segments key. The value is arbitrary, so we can use cut A, cut B, or cut C, as long as they're different than the previous segment value. This tells DFlicker internally that this is a new segment, so up to this point not to affect the footage. We advance a frame and we reset max change to 100% for now. Now we can set mark segments to another value that's different than the value we used on the previous segment. We do that at the first frame of each cut. This is so DFlicker does not try to use frames from another shot near the cut. Okay, we go somewhere within our first shot with flickering. Somewhere that isn't at the shot boundary. DFlicker has two basic modes, one that does extra work to maintain the integrity of small details, but here it's not really our problem. We have more of a large intensity pulse, so we'll use method 4 or 5 with a default time window of 2. We advance a frame forward and then back. There's still a bit of flicker, so we can raise the amount to 3. We advance a frame forward and then one backward. Then back to where we started. Okay, this is better. Let's see what happens with 4. We advance a frame forward, another frame before, and then go forward a few more frames. That's it. Of course, we don't want that value to be too high because each time it adds a lot to compute time. And at some point it might even make the image too soft. We go to the next shot and check a few frames with the same setup. Okay, that seems good. Let's try a render. Voila! Now, Let's say some shots don't have any flicker. Let me show you an alternative workflow. Once an effect is applied, you should be able to splice the clip and the effect will be copied properly. So another way to do this is to nest the sequence and apply the effect inside the nested sequence. This way the whole thing remains one clip on your whole timeline. Here's the process. We razor from first to last frame of that segment and lift that shot. Then we can just delete the effect. The last shot is interesting. It has the shadow of the helicopter blade passing every few frames. This could be challenging for some software. We can find a frame not near the beginning or end of that shot, and we can disable the effect to see before. Now we turn on the effect, and we can see that our same settings seem to work here. We can check a few frames before, and it looks like we're good, so we'll render. We can see the second to the last shot is still flickering and we can see a strong on-off, on-off alternating pattern. So first pass we can apply alternate method and then as a second pass, we can leave the default setting. Now we see the new result. So this is how we remove flicker on high frame rate footage with deflicker by Revision Effects.